Andrew Cohen says Robert James Campbell's lawyers argue he's mentally impaired and ineligible. Okay, let's go on. Bikes, help us. Bikes, it's bike week. It's bike week. Around the country, it's bike week. Northampton is um, a fantastic example of things that are happening all across the country. Uh, May is bike month. The third week in May is always bike week. And uh, this is our chance to celebrate bikes and to encourage people to ride. So whatever you're worried about, bikes will solve it. It's a, it's a panacea. <laughs> no, global warming, local economy, social justice, local pollution, public health, private health, whatever you want to know about the economy bicyclists are a good solution for some part of it. I think there's really been a, a groundswell of support over the last uh, 10, 20 years. Uh, those, those of us who've lived here for more than 10 years can see that change on the streets. You see a lot more bicyclists. Um, there's a bike culture here. It's known as one of the most bike-friendly uh, areas in uh, New England. Um, I have uh, bikes all over the country, and, I, and this is absolutely, hands down, my favorite place to ride. I grew up in New York City. I've lived in California, Arizona, Maryland. This is my favorite place to ride a bike, in town, out of town. The terrain is beautiful. Uh, the drivers, for the, the great, great majority of drivers, are respectful. Drivers don't want to hit cyclists. They don't even want to uh, As opposed to New York them. City cabs, you mean? That's yeah. what they're aiming for them. <laughs> but here in Massachusetts, it's, it's, and in, in the Valley, I think it's bicyclists are, are, by and large, really accepted as, as part of the, uh, the traffic system. I think that if 25 or 30 years ago you had said, you know what we're going to have in Boston and New York? We're going to have these bike racks, and people can go take bikes and use them for an hour or two, bring them back, use a credit card, or put a dollar or two in, and use a bike, and that will be a significant and accepted and important way for people to get around a major metropolitan area. People would have thought the person making that assertion was totally nuts. Boston and New York and San Francisco and other major cities around the country have experienced more than a tripling of their rates of bicycling in the last 10 years alone. There's an enormous, enormous growth in bicycling across the country.